as the music industry has begun to start to embrace digital, there's now a much richer data set to determine where an artist should tour. And you're not just relying on how many seats they've sold in the past, but now you have data such as zip codes, tied to email addresses, YouTube views, social media subscribers. How do you prioritize these sources of data specifically for booking purposes? Good question, very relevant right now. You know, there's companies from Big Champagne, which used to analyze, you know, no network node, MP3 traffic, peer-to-peer -peer traffic, Next Big Sound, which is measuring Facebook, tweets, retweets, likes, YouTube, blah, blah, blah. Um, we're at an early phase of big data analysis. We built our own thing internally. We had the trainees do it, but just like we talked about you know, mentoring. We have a group of advanced assistants called trainees. And their project right now is to build data analytics called the WME Buzz, where we plug in an artist we think something's happening on, and we can see its score week to week of its rate of increase, how it's indexing, etc. The overall answer to your question is, it's really early in data analysis. We've been watching it since sort of mp3.com and even before that. I'm not sure anybody knows yet the importance and the weighting of each piece, right? A video like versus a Facebook mm -hmm. ad versus, because right now none of them mean purchase per se. All right, so the first thing right. Moses is, it's early phase. And you gotta look at this as a five, 10 year, 20 year uh, understanding of what's going on. And I think that's the first thing you gotta do. Geo, which is what you're talking about, right, for tour information, email addresses, we did a long time ago. Um, I'm not sure they correlate yet, correctly, all right, that you have X amount of emails. There's too many other variables if an artist put out a bad record, if they raise their ticket price, um, are they playing a venue you don't like, whatever it is that can really throw a monkey wrench into what the statistics say. And so, Sure. What's happening, in, and all kinds of things, by the way, you know, festival appearances. Um, so I think, and we've had a lot of those tools for a long time. So right now, the irony is there's multiple sets of data points. There's the actual big data analytics that you can scrape and look at. And then there's gut reaction. Then there's talking to the local <laughs> promoter and the blogger in town and the radio station guy. And, and you know, if there's, Old a, school network. if there's a record store still in play. And, or even the kids in the office, right? And you'd be shocked that the actual, what many might call the old school analytics are as on point as the new school ones because there's too much data and it, we don't know which one's important yet. So I think, Moses, it's going to come. There's predictive yep. software that says, oh, this song has this kind of chorus in it, it should be a hit, but it's not. And they've sold those things and touted them for a long time. So sure. I'd say this is a wait and watch. This is a watch, listen, and learn as people develop better interface, as they develop which statistics are more important and, and, and not important. Um, and it's going to evolve over the next five to ten years the way I look at it. But we use all these things actively. That's, did that uh, answer yeah. your question?